Hi friends, I am so tickled to see you here today. I tried to do a live broadcast and apparently we just, I don't know, we don't have enough bandwidth or whatever the word is, there's not enough of it that I could go live in the evening. Um, I guess there's too many people accessing the towers or I don't know. But I guess that's one of the things about living out in the country is we don't have the modern city conveniences and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I really wanted to show you my garden and um, we've been working really hard in it this week and tell you a few things about what's going on here at the homestead. So first, let's have a little jibber jabber about what we've been doing, what's been going on around here and why I look so tired. <laughs> um, we have been, like I told you guys on my last, well last Wednesday, that my neighbor offered for us to come and work in his garden in exchange for food. And so every morning um, before seven o'clock, which I am a night person, so um, you know, eight o'clock was early. <laughs> now I'm getting up at 6.30 to go and weed the garden with him, but that's when it's beautiful outside and um, you know, it's cool and we can work hard. So we, the kids and I have gone over every morning except for Sunday and we have just been working so hard in the garden. We've been working over there for a couple hours every morning and then we've been working in our garden and then just trying to keep up with all of life in general and the, all the YouTube responsibilities and saying hi on Facebook. And I have a happy dance to do for you guys because we reached 10,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. And it's all because of you guys and everything that you've done to help me get over that hump. And because you're here, I just, I am so grateful. So anyway, here's my happy dance. Can you see me? <laughs> there, that's my happy garden dance. Hi. So anyway, thank you so much for that. I just, I feel so honored to be here and to be talking to you all and um, that you even want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> here comes Annabelle. Come on, baby. You want to say hi? No. Oh, okay. You going to go play with Elkie? Yeah. Elkin's back there. Okay. He's looking for grasshoppers. I gotta get okay? Okay, you be careful. I gotta go this you gotta go, go this way. No. So you can see that the garden is really taken off. It's been so happy. We've had a lot of warm and um, I've got a watering system in here that is working really great. So my neighbor gave me some pipes that has, so I can access um, the well that has higher water pressure. And then a friend came over and put the sprinklers in for me. So um, my poor husband, he just works and works and works um, his job. And so he doesn't have much time to do home study stuff. So thank Thankfully, I have other people around me that have helped me with all of these things. So anyway, um, we're able to water it a whole bunch and it's doing so much better this year. When we first got started, I thought for sure I was going to have no garden at all because um, we pulled out, and you can see the chickens back here, we pulled out a whole bunch of compost out of their, we have deep bedding back in their um, yard, and I pulled a whole bunch of compost out of there, and I, was, I wasn't feeling well at the time that we did it, and so I had the kids pull it out for me, and I didn't give them good enough instructions to make sure they got the stuff that's way down on the bottom. And so they grabbed a whole bunch of the top stuff and we ended up burning a whole bunch of our plants and I thought, oh, they'll never pull out of this in time to do anything. And we only lost a few plants. Um, we still have a couple that are yellow, but what we found with the, you know, they're just, it's so heavy in nitrogen. And so what happens is they just, they, they look like they're burning. Um, they're all yellow. And um, I'll see if I can find a couple plants for you and show you what's going on. Um, but what it needs is it needs some carbon to soak up all of that nitrogen. And so we took a whole bunch of mulch and put the mulch on the garden and that's helping a bunch. And then we let the weeds just kind of go gangbusters because nitrogen usually causes things to grow really fast as long as there's not just too much. And it'll cause lots and lots of leaves but not a lot of um, food production. 
And that's exactly what was going on. So I let the weeds kind of get overgrown to use up a whole bunch of that nitrogen and then that en energy that was in there so that we could then pull all of those out, feed those to the chickens and have um, garden plants that weren't just overwhelmed with nitrogen and getting burnt. So that's, um, that was kind of the trouble that we were having here in the garden. But now that we've gotten past that, we way overwatered it to kind of leach all of that out because we, we had mounds because of, um, we have clay soil. So we mounded it up so that we would have good drainage. And um, because of that, we were able to leach a whole bunch of that down between the rows. So I think that helped too. So we did the mulch and we mounded it up um, between the rows. That was a really big help. So anyway, that's what we've been doing out here in the garden and I will show you a few clips of it and, um, and then I'll see if I can take you over to my neighbor's garden and show you what we've been doing over there. We have winter squash, we have cucumbers, more winter squash, this is one of our pumpkin plants for our pumpkin competition. A volunteer tomato. So we still have some weeding we need to get done, but we've made some big progress. We've been spending so much time at the neighbor's garden, um, we haven't had as much time on our own. But you can see we have cucumbers, carrots, and onions. We do have some green beans. They didn't come up as well as I was hoping, um, but, but we'll have enough for some dinner throughout the summer. There's the green beans and this is where they were getting burnt so badly was over here but you can see they're starting to come out of it so we lost a few plants that were down in this area here but this is what they do and throwing throwing the mulch down on top and letting the weeds grow and then way over watering seems to be taking care of it this is the very, very sad reality of what our peas are for this year. We planted a huge row of them and this is what we got. Um, so we went ahead, we had sunflowers that came up as volunteers. And again, you can see we've got a lot of weeding still to do, but we let the sunflowers go ahead and come up and consume this row since there's no peas in it. Here's another spot where you can see the um, the compost was just way too hot. So we'll see if they produce and what they do. Um, they're supposed to, these are yellow beans anyway, not green beans, so they're not supposed to be quite as dark, um, but they are definitely too too washed out. You can see that they're they're burnt on the end there. So this is our squash and potato sea, and we had planted green beans and um, peas up here and um, this was where we had potatoes last year and then there was lots of squash seeds that were in um, the chicken compost that we brought through so <laughs> you wouldn't know we planted green beans and peas but what we're growing is potatoes and squash so i guess you know we're really grateful that even though what we planted didn't come up well we have this crazy jungle um, and we'll still get a harvest. My absolute favorite gardening method is the Back to Eden Garden. And we laid these wood chips down uh, about a year and a half ago. I can't believe the compost and the soil that's under there. It has just been miraculous. It holds the moisture so well and everything that is in it just takes off and thrives. So that's what we're working on doing on this main garden site. This was our, our big garden last year um, and we are working on getting wood chips down. I was concerned that um, they were just too new and that they would affect how the plants were growing. So we're laying them down this year and then we will plant next year. So thank you again for helping us get to 10,000 subscribers. What a day. I can't believe it. Um, it's just been incredible. And um, I also wanted to tell you a couple other channel news things. Um, first of all, 
We are going to be doing a 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm very excited about that. The thing that was requested the most was an apron and I am going to actually sew one for you. So you're gonna have to give me a couple weeks to put it together, but that's gonna be super fun. Um, so one winner, or the winner, will get an apron. There'll be a couple t-shirts, Road to the Farm t-shirts. If you don't have it already, you can definitely have all of my recipes. Um, and we're gonna try to get a couple other things to sweeten the pot a little bit. Um, maybe we'll throw in a cast iron pan or something. That'd be kind of fun. So anyway, um, the giveaway will be coming up soon. This is not the official giveaway video, but there will be one very soon. And um, so you guys can enter to win. And then the other thing that I wanted to tell you about is on our Sunday live stream, which happens during the day on a Sunday when things are quiet so usually we have a really good connection on Sunday for our live videos um, then we are going to be talking all about fibromyalgia so I know a ton of you have found me through the my story video and um, that just touches my heart that it spoke to you in a way that you could relate to I hate that there are so many people that understand what I've gone through um, but at the same time I love that we can band together and that we can support each other and you guys really lift me up and encourage me so often so on Sunday we're going to be talking all about fibromyalgia and um, whatever you guys want to talk about it's just gonna be kind of like a fibro free-for-all you have questions that you want to submit ahead of time you are welcome to hit me up on Facebook or on my email which is Melanie Lynn at road to the farm um, dot com you can shoot me an email there <laughs> it's buggy um, or send me a Facebook message or post on my Facebook wall or direct message me on Instagram or comment on videos or whatever you want to do to talk to us. Um, I would love to hear what questions you have, what you guys want to talk about, what kind of things you want to know. Um, so I'm going to be sharing some of the things that have helped me and um, I guess that's what it is. So I just wanted to give you some advance notice so that you can hopefully be there live on Sunday. And if you're going to miss it live, make sure you do submit your question ahead of time so that I can answer that. Anyway, thank you for being here. I love you all. You are wonderful. Thank you for helping me get to 10,000 um, and I guess onward and upward from here. We'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.